Hey folks, this is Eshad back again from MWC 2017. What's right now in front of me is this Asus Zenfone AR. This is a very interesting device, you guys. Of course, this wasn't launched at MWC. We are at the Qualcomm booth, and this phone is actually at the Qualcomm booth uh, because Qualcomm wants to showcase its technologies, definitely. But one of the interesting things about the Asus Zenfone AR is the fact that it does both AR and VR. What well, that means is augmented reality plus uh, virtual reality. Uh, AR means Google Tango. Virtual reality means uh, Daydream. Now, uh, with the Asus Zenfone AR, uh, we can we can think of the uh, Zenfone AR as an upgraded version uh, to the Zenfone 3D, which is actually lying, uh, lying right next to me. Uh, but, you know, let's talk about the AR instead. Uh, what the AR comes with is a Snapdragon 821 SoC with 8 GB of RAM instead of 6 GB. Of course, you need all that RAM for the processing power that is uh, necessary for AR and VR both. Uh, also, uh, it comes with a 5.7 inch 2K uh, display as well. The design is kind of chunky and heavy, but that's expected from a phone uh, which includes both AR and VR. Uh, you can see that from the camera setup uh, on the rear, which includes a 23 megapixel f2.0 sensor, with, which has optical image stabilization, which is a four axis optical image stabilization, which is actually pretty insane. And it's got 3x uh, zoom as well. Uh, also, it's got face detection, autofocus, and a depth and motion tracking sensors. That is absolutely necessary for your uh, AR, fe AR features, of course. And it can do uh, 4K video as well. Now, of course, we haven't uh, tested uh, Google Tango on this. That's not available on the on the test unit. That's uh, that's right here. Uh, but there are some few apps that that you know includes Daydream and and stuff like that. Uh, apart from that, uh, the phone also uh, runs Android Nougat out of the box. Uh, unfortunately, uh, as is the case with most Zen UI uh, devices, it doesn't look anything like Nougat. Uh, so you know you'll have to sort of uh, give way to the design language that is present on uh, Android Nougat devices. Also, uh, apart from that, it's got uh, all of the Wi-Fi, uh, ABG and AC modes, and it also supports 4G LTE as well. If you're wondering about how much power is required to power a device which includes both VR and AR capabilities, it's got a 3,300 mAh battery inside. I don't know if that is sufficient enough for a phone uh, that needs to do both uh, augmented reality and virtual reality, but I mean, we'll have to test that out to figure out, uh, you know, if that actually uh, works out at the end. Uh, this phone is not available in India yet. Uh, we uh, we hope that it does come soon because it's got 8 GB of RAM. It's something that is very exciting and also it's got AR and VR capabilities as well. Uh, that's it from me, Eshad. Uh, this was my first impression of the Zenfone AR. Keep watching our uh, YouTube channel for more footage from MWC 